morning, everyone. My name is Chiso Chikitabu. Our favorite topic this morning is people management. This is what we're looking at today. What is people management? Essential people management skills. How to develop your people management skills? And what's your question with the feedback? Effective people management is a necessary quality for current and aspiring leaders to aim to improve work, who aim to improve workplace communication and prepare employees for success. People management is a very, very, is a very important skill. Anyone who is aspiring to be a leader, who is aspiring to lead people, who is aspiring to head a team or to head a department, needs effective people management in order to, to be successful in doing this. What is people management? People management is the process of training, motivating, and directing employees in order to optimize workplace productivity and more professional goals. This has to do with training and motivating, like boosting the morale of employees and directing them in order to be productive and also to empower your employees and your team members. Workplace leaders, such as team leads, managers, Department heads use people management to oversee work flow and boost employees' performance every day. People management is a very important skill. People management is useful in many workplace situations such as handling interpersonal conflicts, leading employee training, managing deadlines, building company culture. So when a manager or a team lead wants to achieve big people management is the common handy. So when there are conflicts among employees, people management is very essential. When you want to lead an, an employee training, you want to conduct training for employees, people management is very essential. Managing deadlines and also building company culture, people management, very essential skill. Now, essential people management skills, you have empowering, empowering employees, active listening, conflict resolution, flexibility, patience, clear communication, trust, communication. Now, taking a look at these essential people management skills. Now, let's look at empowering employees. Empowering your employees to help them develop new skills and be more productive. It's important to train new employees well and give them the knowledge and resources they need to perform assigned tasks and continue learning on their own. So as a manager and as someone who wants to be productive, you need to empower your employees. You need to develop, help them develop new skills. But coming into the organization is a lot. Although they might have a skill that they might have developed from one time or the other, but them working with you is supposed to help them develop new skills, even skills that they don't have, to help them so that they will be more productive in carrying out their assigned tasks. Another important aspect of empowering employees includes offering constructive feedback to encourage skill building. When, when you want to give feedback to your employees, it's supposed to be constructive in terms of you are trying to improve them and not to demoralize them. Being available for questions or additional training. They're supposed to be available whenever your employees need to ask questions or to be verified. You should be available. You should be checked. Align them to adjust to workflow or standard process if you put their 
productivity. You should be flexible. Like you should be able to to balance both their work and their personal life. You should be able to balance both the tasks they have to carry out for you or carry out or they are responsible for and also other aspects of their life. Encouraging them to take additional skill building courses and learning opportunities. They should be encouraged to also learn other skills apart from the tasks of the job they are to do the organization they are also expected to learn other courses or other additional skills to also improve themselves in other areas of life supporting them on, on manic challenging projects at times some tasks might be very demanding and employees might need help so you should be available to offer help and support also encourage them Active listening. Active listening is a very, very, a very important skill. In the process of listening to the speaker, in order to fully understand their perspective, question, or concern for responding, active listening has to do with you don't listen to respond. You listen to understand. Understand every aspect of what the other person is saying before you now respond. So you don't listen to respond, you listen to understand and take in whatever it is said so that once you're responding, you are responding in line with what has been asked or what has been said to you. Active listening removes distractions. Active listeners remove distractions, maintain eye contact and offer verbal or non-verbal cues to indicate their engagement and understanding. So when you are practicing or someone who is an active listener, you, you, you observe eye contact with the person you are communicating with. You have removed distractions. You, you, you perform some non-verbal demonstrations like holding your head, you know, acknowledge that you are actually understanding or listening to what the other person is saying. Now, respond thoughtfully by repeating a brief summary of your understanding of message of what the other person is saying. Conflict resolution. Good conflict resolution skills can help address interpersonal challenges. You can analyze the situation and identify and identify what the causes of the conflict might be. So as a good manager or a team lead, it's good to have this good conflict resolution skill. You should be able to identify what is going on among the employees. You should be able to you should be able to bring to opposing parties that is going to mediate between opposing parties and help them to make a compromise or reach a collective understanding. You should be able to resolve issues among the employees. You should be able to monitor the situation to ensure conflict is fully resolved and to prevent it from occurring again. Flexibility. Knowing knowing when to knowing when to be flexible and when to more firmly direct employee is an important aspect of effective people management. As a manager or a team lead or a department head, you should not be so demanding you should not be harsh like you should you should be flexible you should you should be able to adjust to know when to laugh with your employee to know when to relax to know when to smile to just know how to loosen up so that employees can easily warm up to you and they will be able to to carry effectively carry out their tasks can demonstrate flexibility in your management style by accommodating individual employee needs. So apart from their their work related work needs, other aspects of their life you should be able to to accommodate them too. You should be able to know when to come in when tend of when your employee is siege to be observant enough to know that an employee is actually undergoing some challenges. And you should be flexible enough to find out and 
know how you can help or come in whether to help them manage whatever it is they are handling. An employee should be able to balance their, their personal life and their work. An employee should be able to do other things. Employee might have other personal engagements while working for you. So as a manager or a team lead, you should and such a should be able to to direct or accommodate an employee in such a way that the employee can be able to manage both personal life and work. Employees should also do other things and also perform their tasks in the best convenient way. At times it shouldn't be the way you actually want it. But they might have other things to do at a particular time. So they can still do other things they have to do and also perform their tasks as long as they meet their deadline. And if there's any reason why they won't meet the, the deadline, as long as it, it has been communicated on time so that whatever, if there's anything that has to be done in order to manage it, it can be done. And then that is very, very important. Patience. Patience is an important people management skill that uses kindness, respect, and empathy while helping others overcome obstacles. You can use patience when training new employees, teaching new processes, handling conflicts, and solving problems. So as a manager, patience is a very important people management skill. So you should be kind enough, you should respect your employees, and you should also help them to overcome obstacles. So an employee should feel able to warm up to you when they feel that if they don't understand the particular tax, they can come to you and you put them through. They can you should feel that it's patient enough to listen to you, it's patient enough to listen to an employee uh, complaint, it's patient enough to enable a, your employee to perform a tax effectively it shouldn't be so demanding. Should be patient enough when you are trying to resolve problems or conflicts. To listen to every employee involved in order to, to know how you can solve the, solve the situation adequately. Clear communication. Communication is a necessary people management skill that enables team members to work together in solving problems, brainstorming new ideas, and adapting to new changes. The ability to clearly communicate with your co workers can help you be a better team member. Effective communication or clear communication is very, that is a very important people management skill. You should be able to communicate clearly to your employees. How do you practice effective communication? It's by using clear and simple language so every recipient understands your message. So when you are communicating, you shouldn't use jargon, you shouldn't use big terms. You make it as simple as, be simple as possible. You should be clear, you should be vivid, so that the other person hearing or listening to you can take it whatever it is you're saying. Give the employee the opportunity to ask clarifying questions. So when you are communicating, there can be a complication when if communication will not be effective if they don't if they do feedback. So when you've communicated, you should create an avenue for questions and feedback on what you said. So you even know whether what you communicated has been taken. And you should also confirm that each member of your team understands the information so there is no miscommunication. Trust. Trust means believing that you can rely on someone's ability, assistance, or advice when you need it most. Building trust helps your team work together more effectively and productively. Now, trust is believing that you can rely on someone. That when you need assistance or you need advice, you can rely on someone, another party, in order to get this, and it will make 
to more productive. Team, team should be able to trust that their leader supports them and believes in their hard work. So employees should be able to believe and have that in mind that you trust and believe their hard work to give them that motivation, to give them that morale, to increase their esteem, to, give, to enable them to work effectively, even to be able to even do their best, do extra mind to make sure that a tax is being done even more than you even expect. You can build trust by reliably performing your tasks and demonstrating technical skills when employees ask for help. So when you perform your tasks reliably, you will be able to know how so when questions are being asked or an employee is asking for questions due to your experience because you've done those tasks, you've done some things on your own. You need to understand okay when I'm faced with this challenge, this is what I need. When I'm when someone is going through this, this is what the person is to do. So you need to offer such help when an employee asks for all this help to be trust. Organization. Managing team involves handling several different ongoing tasks simultaneously. Organization is an important people management tool that helps you track and maintain your team productivity. These are signs of effective organization. Promptly responding to emails, approval, requests, and questions when you should be available at all times, reachable. An employee should be able to send a mail to you and should be able to respond as soon as possible. Not an employee will send a mail and take you forever to respond. All this will slow the performance of your employee. Keeping the calendar to actively track deadlines, running meetings that effectively discuss information, have stand up meetings. This stand up meeting will help build effective communication. Also, so you know things that are happening so that employees can effectively give their reports. At times, not just sending mails and sending reports to you. When you have meetings whereby you hear, you hear the views and the employee get to get to discuss to employees to find out some other things that you could not have known by just sending mails, sending messages and all that. Properly assigning tasks to team members. Okay, questions and feedback would be highly appreciated. Thank you for listening.